Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new around here, hello, welcome. My name is Jennifer. I've been a licensed esthetician and a makeup artist for over 20 years. I'm also the author of an online skincare program called Nude Skin. Nude Skin is like the comprehensive online Bible about how to take care of your skin. You can basically binge watch it in a weekend and learn everything you need to know about how to take care of your skin without crazy complicated ingredients and routines. You want simple, but you wanna look beautiful, nude skin is your key. So I will leave all the information in the description below. Okay, so today we're gonna to be going back to basics. The foundation of any great skincare routine, and that is washing your face. And the big question is, do you have to wash your face twice a day, every day? Do you have to wash your face at night and in the morning? The answer may surprise you because this is really not something that you hear a lot out there on YouTube or in the beauty communities or on websites and blogs. You don't hear this from the skincare companies. You probably won't, but I want to talk about it. We hear it all the time, twice a day, right? When I was growing up, getting my beauty education in the late 80s, when I was getting my skincare information, primarily from fashion and beauty magazine, right? Everything you always read all the time was you must wash your face twice a day. It was drilled into us like clockwork. And we just took it for granted that that was something that you had to do. But how true is it? So let me just put it out there. It is not necessarily true in all instances. And it is a beauty myth. Kind of like a beauty urban legend, if you will, at this point. I don't know if you know, but 90% of women, maybe even a little bit more than 90% of women, no matter their age, no matter what skin type or condition they're facing, they don't have to wash their face twice a day. And a lot of women don't know, understand, or even realize this. They don't know why washing your face twice a day all the time probably does more damage than if you just would just wash your face once at night. So I'm here to tell you that washing your face twice a day is not skincare gospel, okay? It's not the law. It is a suggestion and it's a myth that's been perpetrated for years. Again, over 95% of women do not need to be washing their face twice a day. All most women need, no matter what their age or skin type, is a good thorough nighttime cleanse. That is more than sufficient to keep your skin soft, conditioned and healthy. So washing at night is your non-negotiable. You should be washing your face at night for sure. But in the morning, nope, you don't need it. You can skip it. My disclaimer is you can only skip your morning face wash if you have a good solid nighttime skincare routine in place. And when I say a solid skincare routine at night, I'm talking cleansing and treating and protecting and hydrating your skin at night. But once you have that down, you can skip the morning face cleanse. Now, there can be exceptions to this. There is a small minority that might benefit from a super light morning facial cleanse, but most of the time and in most instances, you do not need to be doing it. I'll focus specifically on what to do for a super simple, super gentle nighttime skincare routine in a later video, but this one is just solely to convince you to stop washing your face in the morning and why you don't need to wash your face in the morning. And more importantly, how your skin is gonna get even more healthy and look better and softer than ever before when you start skipping that morning face wash. So why aren't we hearing about this more in the beauty community? Why aren't we hearing about how for like 95% of us, over washing, over cleansing, washing our face in the morning twice a day is just too much. Why aren't we hearing this? I don't really understand why it's considered unconventional skincare advice because it actually, it just, it's in line with basic skincare biology and it really makes so much more sense when you think about the reasons why you don't need to wash your face in the morning. And the main reason why we're not wanting to do that is because we are unnecessarily stripping our skin barrier. And our skin barrier is what keeps our skin soft, protected, and healthy. And when you are stripping that skin barrier every single morning when you don't need to, you're just setting yourself up for a whole mess of problems. Oh, and I almost forgot. I wanna interject a really quick disclaimer, another one. When I'm talking about not washing your face in the morning and I'm telling you that you need to have a solid nighttime skincare cleansing routine in place, I also want to add 
that using makeup wipes at night as your skincare routine to remove your makeup, if you're doing that, I want to just kind of do a little uh, public service announcement here and tell you, please don't do that. Makeup wipes are not really a great way to cleanse your face. They are ineffective. They don't completely remove makeup, sunscreen, environmental debris, oil, sweat. They don't do a good job of doing that. So if you're using something like a makeup wipe at night and thinking that that is an effective nighttime cleanse, unfortunately it's not. And you don't want to be using makeup wipes to clean your skin at night and then not wash your face in the morning because your skin isn't really clean at night if you're if all you're using is a makeup wipe. So I would caution you that makeup wipes used on a daily basis are absolutely not ideal. The reason being is it can be actually pretty rough depending on what type of cloth material it's made out of. They're not really that great for the environment. They tend to be super expensive. They sometimes have preservatives and fragrance and things in them that potentially irritate our skin. But all, all rubbing on the skin isn't really the best. You don't want to tug at your face unnecessarily. And the cleansing solutions that those cloths are saturated with they just can't on their own do the job of an effective, dedicated facial skincare cleanser. I'm just, I'm really passionate about why I don't like makeup wipes on a daily basis. I, I also have like a blog post I wrote about it. I mean, I don't want to say that I'm completely anti. I will say that makeup wipes are okay in certain situations and they have their place in certain situations. Like if you were at a festival or you're traveling, you're staying at someone's house, you don't have full access to your routine, or what if you're camping or something, you don't have access to a sink or, I don't know, you're in the hospital or something. Okay, fine. I will give you that. But even then, I mean, there are things that I would recommend uh, over a makeup wipe, like say, for example, uh, micellar water. That is 10 times more effective at cleansing and removing makeup and gunk and all the things. But even then, after a micellar water, I'm advising women to then go in with a second cleanse, which is a double cleanse at night. And I'll go into all that in another video. But point being, makeup wipes are not an effective way to cleanse your skin at night. And don't think that you can get away with a makeup wipe and then not wash your face in the morning. Because I'm here to tell you, that is not what I'm talking about here. If you want to avoid washing your face in the morning and you want to try this experiment and see how much better your skin is going to look and it is going to look better. You have to cleanse your skin properly at night. So no makeup wipes, okay? We are using dedicated facial cleansers like creams and milks and gels and oils and all that good stuff at night. When you do that, you can completely avoid washing your face in the morning and you'll look to better. Let's get into why our skin is going to look better. Well, first and foremost, again, we're not unnecessarily stripping our skin barrier and a lot of us are washing our face twice a day every day and we are doing exactly that we are irritating our skin we are basically ripping out all of the protective oils and lipids and ceramides that our skin actually produces naturally and it takes time for our skin to produce those things and when you are washing in the morning you are removing all of that goodness and those lipids keep our skin soft and supple and hydrated skin Without them, you're setting yourself up for a rougher skin barrier and drier, more dehydrated skin, whether you are naturally oily, dry, or normal. So if you suffer from dryness and dehydration or even excessive oiliness, just this one thing of stopping washing your face in the morning, see how your oily skin will start to normalize and produce less oil. See how your dry or dehydrated skin actually starting to look and feel more soft and supple when your skin is less oily when it is less dry and dehydrated if you wear makeup you will find that your makeup will look so much better it will wear longer it will look patchy and kind of like it like faded off your face if you're dry because that happens to us a lot if you're drier and your skin is dehydrated and dry your skin just basically soaks up all that makeup and you know, five, six hours later, you look like you have nothing on. Or if you're excessively oily and you're putting makeup on, your makeup tends to slip and slide all around and it just turns into a big oily mess. And again, that from when we are just compromising our skin barrier by over cleansing and stripping our face. So that is what we do not want to do. It's like a no cost thing that you can try and see how much better your skin looks and feel. You want to be pampering 
your skin at night. You want to be cleansing it effectively. You want to be treating it with any type of product that you may be using, whether it's a retinol or a skincare acid for exfoliation. You want to be hydrating it and you want to be protecting it. That is going to be the foundation of your skincare routine. And especially when you think about all the skincare products that you use at night, whether they're expensive or not, whether they're fancy or not, Nighttime skincare, our creams, our lotions, our serums, all the good things that we're putting in our skin is actually meant to hydrate and protect and nourish. And then you take those products that you're putting on in conjunction with your own natural lipids and fatty acids and ceramides that your skin is producing on its own. That's the goodness that you want to keep on your skin and seal it in and protect as you go into the next day. You don't necessarily even need to be washing those products off in the morning because 95% of them or more are actually absorbed into the skin and you want to preserve all of that goodness. So if you're listening to this and it sounds really good in theory, but say for example, you're oily and you are wondering how the heck can I get away with not washing my face in the morning? I wake up and I just feel like I'm very oily and I just need to wash. Well, fair enough, but I still want you to try this because when you stop washing your face in the morning unnecessarily, your oil production will slow down and your skin will calm. And especially if you have oilier, thicker, more acne skin, like even if you have some pimples or even full-blown acne, those skincare lipids and ceramides and all that goodness that you're not stripping off of your skin every single morning when you wake up, they actually aid in healing acne as well. So it is a win-win all around. So what I'll say is if you are crazy oily and the idea of not washing in the morning is just making you kind of like nervous, what I want you to do is just splash your face with a little bit of cool water. You can use tap water, you can use distilled water, you can even spritz your face with um, a little bit of like an alcohol-free toner and then gently blot your face. That will be enough to refresh your skin and take away that feeling or that slight feeling of oiliness that you have when you wake up. But I want you to try it. I want you to give your skin a chat protect and rejuvenate itself on its own. Give your skin a chat to reestablish and strengthen its own barrier. And you will end up seeing a lot of these problems that you are experiencing, like dryness, like dehydration, like excessive oiliness. They will tend to take care of themselves and guarantee it. And I also want to tell you that no matter what your skin type, as we get older, even if we're still a little bit oily, our skin is a lot more delicate in our 40s and beyond than it was in our 20s and 30s. So you might be treating your skin at 45 the same way you did when it was 25 by washing it every morning, but the damage that you're doing to your skin barrier is actually more pronounced just because our skin is more delicate as we get older and we need to preserve and protect our aging skin. So think of not washing your face in the morning as double insurance, a way to really protect it, especially going into your day. Not stripping your skin barrier is going to protect your skin from more environmental pollutants. It's going to help protect it from the effects of heat and cold. All those things that assault our skin barrier, when you don't wash in the morning and remove all the juicy goodness in your skin so to speak it's so much better for your skin. so that one of the huge takeaways i want you to come away from this video with is don't unnecessarily strip all that goodness that's inside your skin naturally to help preserve and pre your skin is going to look so much softer so much more supple and your makeup is going to wear better everything is going to just fall into place from this one simple little skincare hack and it costs nothing not only does it cost nothing to do but it actually frees up more and more time now if it takes you anywhere from say five to seven minutes to wash your face in the morning imagine if you weren't doing it seven days a week you could potentially save up to almost 45 minutes in a week by not washing your face in the morning and i know it kind of sounds a little bit funny but it is really true. I mean, what would you do with 45 extra minutes in the week? I think of a lot of different things like, you know, sitting with my cup of coffee or reading the Bible or catching up on a fun video or just anything that you could think of that you could do time that would better serve you not washing your face, not dripping it of all that juicy goodness that you need for your skin to look soft and supple and healthy and just more and more gorgeous. And this is one of the number one foundational techniques that I teach in my online program called Nude Skin. 
it's also one of the first things that I ask a one-on-one client in a beauty coaching session. I find out how they are washing their face because how we wash our face in our skincare routine, it's the foundation. It's like the foundation of our house that we have to layer all of our bricks on top of that. And if we have a weak foundation, everything else kind of crumbles. If overwashing and overstripping, that's going to set you up for conditions that you're going to have to manage and things that can make your skin look less beautiful. So if you are washing your face properly once a day, not doing it in the morning, you're going to avoid so many problems. You're going to save time. It costs you nothing. It is actually one of my favorite skincare tips that I give. I haven't washed my face in the morning for about 15 years. And I have to say, at 50, I think my skin looks better than ever. And when I tell people how I treat my skin and what I do, if I meet somebody and they ask me, oh my gosh, your skin looks so beautiful. Like, what are your, you know, secrets? What do you do? One of the first things I tell somebody, I ask them, do you wash your face in the morning? And they're, you know, yeah, of course, why? And then I launch into why it's not a good thing. And then when I hear, from them about a month later, a couple of weeks later, they always tell me, you have absolutely no idea how much my skin has changed. If they were oily and they were suffering from acne, their skin had calmed down. If they were dehydrated and their skin was dry and their makeup always looked dry and patchy and never looked good, they're telling me things like, oh my gosh, like my makeup looks beautiful. It looks so smooth and I cannot believe I didn't know this before. And that's the whole reason why I have my channel, why I make videos like this for you guys, because people don't talk about stuff like this. Because if I tell a woman that they don't have to wash their face in the morning and they don't have to use more facial cleanser and spend more money and do all these things, it's really something that you can market. It's not really something you can sell. Skincare companies and websites and stores, they are out there to make money. They are out there to try to peddle the idea to you that you have to do all these things at night and you have to do all these things in the morning. A bunch of hogwash. I'm sorry it is. So that is my number one favorite skincare tip to give you. Stop washing your face in the morning. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or let me know in the comments if you're thinking of not washing your face in the morning. Let me know your experiences. I love connecting with you guys. Also, let me know about what you want to see more of on this channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. I hope it was eye-opening. That's why I make these videos. I just want to throw stuff out there that maybe you have heard before that maybe will be paused a little bit. Okay, this Jennifer lady sounds a little cray, but I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it. So try it for a week. Come back to this video, comment, and let me know how much better your skin looks. So I hope you have a wonderful and blessed week. I will talk to you very soon and I'll see you next time. Bye.